Hey clubbers, welcome to another fun-filled edition of Scott's Tips for Dining, better known as STDs. Today we are hanging out at the always fun Disney Springs and we are going to dine at Paddlefish tonight. First time for us dining here. Really excited to check out the menu, check out the drinks. We're dining with some friends tonight, so that's always a good time. We are gonna check everything out. We're gonna show you guys what it's all about, so come along. Okay guys, we'll check out the menu real quick. Looks like they got a lot of starters, crab cakes, beef skewers, traditional calamari, fried green tomatoes, sausage and peppers, chilled and raw seafood. They got the shrimp cocktail, ceviche, crab guacamole. From the port, stuffed cod sounds really good, catfish, crispy shrimp, mahi, shrimp and grits. It's always one of my favorites. Soup and salad, of course, the New England clam chowder, different kinds of salads there. And from the land, a ribeye, a filet, a chicken breast, pork chop, caprese sandwich, and then of course a vegetarian option there with the vegetarian pasta. And for the kids, looks like they got filet skewers, grilled chicken, linguine, hot dogs, peel and eat Key West shrimp, that looks pretty good, and crispy shrimp. Desserts are looking like a chocolate mousse cake, chocolate cookie sundae, key lime pie, vanilla bean ice cream, and flan. Looking forward to trying everything. Okay guys, we are here with some drinks. I got the Stevens Old Fashioned, which I have no idea what's in it, but I think it's cherry juice and the Knob Creek that Paddlefish has. And there's a little pee in my ice. If you can see that right there. Kathleen, what'd you get? I got the Paddlefish Sangria. Looks pretty tasty. It's very good, yep. And we are here with Sean and Jennifer. Howdy. Sean, what'd you get? Uh, I got the Not Everybody's Margarita, and it's basically a margarita with mezcal and other stuff, and I would say that it is good if you like the smoky mezcal as compared to the regular tequila. I'd perfect. probably get it again. All right, perfect. Jennifer? And I got a classic margarita. And it's a classic, classic margarita. margarita. It's tasty. Looks good. All right. Well, appetizers are on the way. And as soon as they come out, we'll show you guys what it's all about. Okay, guys. Round one is here. We got the New England clam chowder. I'm going to try it real quick. Very creamy. Very good. Very rich. I don't know. What's that? What's that taste in there? Is that? Uh, it's like the bacon, I believe. There's sort of like a smoky, sort of yeah. salty bacon thing. And there's big hunks of like smoked pork in here. So. It's really good. But we're waiting on our entrees. And as soon as they hit the table, we'll show you guys what that's about. OK, guys, the main event has hit the table. I got the classic shrimp and grits. 
Looks pretty tasty. Kathleen? I got the filet as usual. Oh, as usual. <laughs> as I knock my plate over. Mashed potatoes and asparagus. Looks good. Sean, what'd you get? Uh, I got the stuffed cod, which is cod with like shrimp and something else in there. Uh, <laughs> asparagus, some red potatoes, and a lemon wedge. And don't forget the mustard cream And sauce. mustard cream sauce. That looks really good. Jennifer? I got the etouffee, which is crawfish and shrimp. And I think it was sausage over rice. Looks good. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to dive in and we'll let you guys know how we like it. Okay guys, the grand finale has hit the table. What did you get? I got the key lime pie. How is it? Well, let me see. <laughs> Looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Best key lime pie you ever had? No. Nope? nope? Okay. <laughs> but it's good. What did you guys get? Um, the chocolate mousse cake. Chocolate mousse cake. You want to yes. give it a try? It looks fancy. Very chocolatey. Pretty chocolatey. Mousse is good. The cake's a little dry. Basic cake is dry. Basically, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they give you the large thing of whipped, whipped cream. cream. Yeah, don't forget the whipped cream. Okay, Clovers, we just wrapped up our meal over at Paddlefish. General consensus among the four of us was that it was just okay. I think a lot of the things that we got were kind of middle of the road compared to some of the other places that we've been, whether it be Disney Springs or especially at the resorts. Um, starting with the drinks, I think my drink that I had was very good. It had their own um, bourbon in there. It was the, can't remember the name of it now, it's the Knob Creek bourbon that Paddlefish uses. But it was good, it was a strong drink, it was good. Um, Kathleen, I know she got the sangria and she said it was just kind of okay. And then the margaritas that Sean and Jennifer got, same thing, just, you know, okay. Not the best they've ever had, but certainly not the worst either. Appetizers, the only appetizer that really hit our table was the, uh, clam chowder. And it was okay. I mean, there was nothing really wrong with it. It had a lot of smoky bacon flavor to it, but I think overall... Some place like Cape May probably does it a little bit better. The bread service, we really didn't talk about that very much, but very standard, just pull apart bread. Nothing really stood out about that. Entrees that everybody got, I got the shrimp and grits, and I really was kind of disappointed with that. I think it was like seven or eight little shrimp, and it looked like somebody had put a large spoonful of grits on a plate and just kind of smeared it across the plate. And then on top of that was the shrimp. And it was really spicy. I don't mind spicy foods, but this was to that kind of like level where it's spicy and almost too spicy to eat for me. Kathleen got her filet as always at the seafood place. She said it was okay. I did try the filet and it was you know, if you're going to judge it one out of ten, I would say it was a six. The mashed potatoes were just standard, and she did order green beans, and they brought her asparagus, so she was kind of disappointed with that. They do have a, a steak sauce that they serve, that they make, and it was delicious. That was the best part of the meal for me personally, was their own signature steak sauce that they did. I could have probably picked that up and just drank it by the glass. It was very good. Sean got the entree that I was originally going to get, which was the stuffed cod with some red potatoes. And I believe it had a mustard cream sauce on top. And it just had a standard stuffing, um, you know, crab and, and stuffing inside the actual cod. He said it was good, he would get it again, but it's not something that he's going to make a point 
to to go back and get again. And then Jennifer got the etouffee with the shrimp and crawfish over rice. Same thing, just kind of like, you know, okay. Not something I ever have to try again, but that was, you know, consistently what everybody said. It was okay. I kept hearing it was okay. It's okay. Um, but nothing real special. The the desserts, Sean and Jennifer, the mousse that they had, you heard them talking about that a little bit. Really chocolatey, really rich. You get to the cake part of it, and it was really dry. And then the key lime pie, Kathleen and I are both snobs, I guess you could say, about key lime pie, because we've had some really good, and we've had some really bad. And again, this one probably ranks right in the middle, you know, a five out of 10. Um, but the overall restaurant, what a cool concept. The way the restaurant looks, there's two levels to the restaurant. We got to eat upstairs. They do have an outside bar that's open later at night. And I don't think that there's any place in Disney Springs where you can really get a better view. You know, it's nice just to go up there and have a drink and, you know, take it all in. What a great view. I mean, that is the most unique part of Paddlefish to me is going up on that top deck and just looking out at everything, especially at night. If you can get up there at night, it's just really cool to be up there and to look over all of the things that Disney Springs has to offer. But definitely a cool opportunity if you can get up there and do that. Food kind of missed the mark for us. We all agreed. Probably a one and done with all of the great offerings that Disney has. I don't think that I would make it a point to go back. Maybe down the road in the way, way, way future. But yeah, I just don't think that we would make it back there. But overall, you know, like I said, middle of the ground and what we like or don't like, you might have a completely different experience. So if you want to try it, definitely, you know, give it a try. I think everything was standard Disney pricing. I will say that drink that I had with the Knob Creek was over $20. So that was a little bit pricier than some of your other places. But everything else was on point. You know, your filet was around $50. Fish entrees are going to be around $30, $35, depending on what you get. Um, so very standard for pricing, very standard for quality, and, and unfortunately, just kind of a, a miss for us at this one. But we definitely had a great time. It's always fun to hang out with fellow clubbers. We cannot thank Sean and Jennifer enough for joining us and being on our crazy videos with us. You know, we had a great time. And no matter where you go, guys... Even at Paddlefish, with some crazy friends like Sean and Jennifer, the magic is always contagious. We'll DVC you real soon.